Red Shark NAB 2024 coverage is sponsored by. So in beta, in After Effects right now, we support embedded animations in 3D models. That means when you bring in your 3D models, if you're not a 3D compositing whiz, you're gonna be able to trigger those animations, spread them out as keyframes, add your other 3D text and elements to those embedded animations. We have 3D shadow catchers with way more realistic, textured and lit 3D shadows, mixing across your 3D and 2D elements. Um, also, three times faster UI and UX performance on Windows. Oh, I forgot a 3D feature, 3D depth maps. Yes, you can't forget about the depth maps. Yeah, the, these grayscale depth maps, what's in front of the camera, what's behind the camera, what's closest and furthest away. You're going to be able to configure your 3D effects to the depth of the actual object and model that you have in there. And of course, the, the UI updates too with Adobe Spectrum. Adobe Spectrum. We have this Adobe Spectrum design platform where we're really trying to like get all of the apps to look more alike. We're trying to make it easier for uh, folks to use any kind of creative cloud app and you know find their way around. It's also just like a lot more gorgeous to look at. There's better accessibility, there's a light mode. Oh, and for the power users, copy and paste keyframes from multiple layers at the same time. Just highlight all 35 of your layers, copy and paste, and you can paste them in reverse, which is great for in and out animations. Yes. That's pretty much what's going on with after Effects.